If you haven't seen our new ASAP science video, you may not realize that sitting is really bad for you. And we can relate. We pretty much spend all of our time sitting over there working, and then when we're done, we just go and sit somewhere else. Seriously, people who sit for 11 hours a day have a 40% increased risk of death in the next three years compared to people who sit for four hours or less. We're screwed. <laughs> I know. So we're gonna give you nine simple tips to help prolong and save your life. Sitting for long periods of time throughout your life is literally killing you, but there's one simple thing you can do to negate all these effects, and that's just stand up. Scientists have found that taking a simple five minute break every hour or so to walk around your office or your classroom will literally remove the negative effects that sitting has. Oh, it's been an hour. Get a standing desk. Okay, truthfully, actually after standing for about 10 minutes, we both always complain about how tired we are because we're so weak and we sit back down. But the beauty is that's really all you need and it's just nice every once in a while when you feel like having a stretch to have the option of zooming your whole desk up. Drink more water. Not only is water refreshing and healthy, but you'll be getting up from your desk more because you'll have to pee. If you're in an office or other place of work, get up from your desk and go and talk to someone instead of just emailing or texting them. Huh, <laughs> bruh. Yeah. If you need something across the room, instead of rolling yourself there, why don't you just get up? Need a little something from the filing cabinet. Get up, you lazy doing. That's a claw! Use an exercise ball like this one. It forces you to activate a lot more muscles while sitting and can honestly be a lot of fun. 360! Whoa! Crazy cool. Park at the back of the parking lot. I love this one because I hate parking near anybody else, so not only will you find a parking space more easily, but over the course of your lifetime, that extra walking is substantial. Stand up during phone calls or texting. <gasps> oh my god, thank you. Use a pedometer on your body or as an app on your phone to count your steps through the day. To give you a ballpark, obese people generally step around 1,500 steps a day and sit for more than 600 minutes, whereas really fit people like farmers, for example, are taking almost 5,000 steps and sitting for less than 300 minutes. The biggest crux of it all is simply inactivity, but it's not about going crazy and doing so much exercise, it's about consistently breaking up the sitting periods. So we hope you enjoyed these tips. We are all gonna live such beautiful, long, healthy lives now, which gives you even more time to subscribe to our channel and watch our videos. So please subscribe, check us out on Instagram and Twitter, and we will see you next week. Peace. Use an exercise ball. It forces you to use a line. <laughs> 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 <laughs>